Freemium is a marketing tactic where a company offers both free and paid versions of its product or service. Some of the most famous freemium practitioners include Dropbox, Spotify, Evernote, Candy Crush Saga by King.com. In fact, Candy Crush started to use the freemium business model all the way back in 2012, which turned out to be an incredibly successful event for them. By applying the freemium strategy in the game, they allowed players to engage with the free product without spending any money. However, they would be charged only if they wanted to unlock specific action items, without which it's hard to get past some difficult levels. Business owners use freemium as a market entry strategy to get users fast and test the viability of their offer in the market. Before we go further, let's be clear about what freemium is not. A product demo or a product that does not give a solution unless the user upgrades to the premium version are not considered freemiums. Most startups offer demos to generate feedback from customers, demonstrate the capability of the product, or get users to upgrade to the paid version. Upgrading to the premium comes with its perks. For example, users can get increased usage quota limits, useful features exclusively available to the paid versions, additional tools to maximize the product's efficiency, and more. The freemium model proponents point out various facts that make the model attractive for startups. Here are some of those advantages. First, no usage barrier. Today's consumers are bombarded with hundreds of products to try. Moreover, the attraction of this tactic over the past few years has led to the rise of any and all types of freemium products. Just like apps, vendors are covering everything, from time management to WordPress backup. Users, therefore, have to filter different products to find out what works for them. How do you get your app to be found in this sea of apps? By using the word free. According to research, free has a special appeal to customers and is inviting. This explains why businesses with freemium offers attract many users on launch. And this brings us to the next point, user base. The second advantage, user base. It's easy to get a large user base when you offer your product for free. When starting up, your free users can become your future customers. These customers can be your source of revenue when they upgrade to a paid version. Moreover, you can use free to brand build awareness that you can later leverage for cross sales or upgrades. The third advantage, differential pricing. The freemium model can be profitable for some businesses. For example, Zipline, a game development company, chose a freemium model rather than charge 99 cents like most game developers do. The result? Todd Hopper, the CEO of the company, indicates that the company generates from $10 to $20 per month from avid users, some who play 100 times per month. Advantage number four. Cost savings. Customers using premium apps expect a certain level of service and commitment from the developers. This can mean cutting down on costs and reducing downtimes in case of any problem. As such, free users may upgrade to get the support of the developer. This is especially true if the offering is crucial to the business operations of the user. For example, WordPress plugin developers usually offer premium support to paid plugin users. What should you ask yourself before using the freemium model? Why are we offering the product for free? If there are no immediate customers for the product, is there really a market? Your product should be able to meet the high demand and deal with a huge customer base. How will you benefit by offering freemium? Is the free plan going to improve your customer acquisition? Keeping that in mind, the acquisition should not increase at the cost of resources spent on free users with respect to support, guides, tutorials, etc. What will make your users upgrade from your free to the paid version? Unless new, attractive, and useful freemium features offers users incredible value as they engage with the product, they may not have the right incentive to ever upgrade to a paid plan over their current freemium solution. Is there a way to monetize the users even if they do not convert? You should actively rethink your pricing strategy. Find out if you can nudge your free users to becoming paying customers by providing feature-based add-ons within the freemium plan. Can you gather actionable market intelligence 
from both the free and paid users. If people are using a system but are not adding real value to the ecosystem, they do not generate revenue and have no actionable network effect data. Then the business hosting them is bound to fail. Having many free trial or non-paying users, which the freemium model advocates point to as its strong point, is one of the vanity metrics companies should not watch. What happens if you realize your freemium members will never convert to paid customers? All is not lost, at least for the savvy vendor. The fact that users signed up to use your app means you got their attention. Thus, if they are not going to convert, find a way to monetize them. You can derive revenue directly from the users or from their use of the system. If you cannot monetize the free users through cross-selling or advertising, you should find another way or stop supporting the user. Let's discuss how you can monetize free users into paying customers. First, upselling them to buy the system. Second, inviting advertisers to target the users. Third, learn their behavior and sell the intelligence to your industry players. Fourth, build a community from the users and customers. Fifth, leverage your community for first-level support. And sixth, selling information to other vendors on how they use the system. Freemium distribution and customer acquisition. It costs five times more to acquire paying customers than free users. However, focusing your customer acquisition efforts on paying customers will ensure the capital used for acquisition is directly used to grow revenue. On the other hand, if you're focusing on free users, you can leverage them appropriately to derive value. One of the ways that users can leverage on their freemium customers is to engage intermediaries like agencies, such as ours, or systems in the creation process. When working together, we can create a value pull that will make the users want the product and thus create a need for a paid application.